In this video, we'll be walking through an experience with a customer on a banking website who's interested in securing an auto loan. They're going to do a co-browse with the agent and escalate to video chat. So they'll get started by clicking the live chat button to connect with an agent and get help finding the auto loans page. They're going to enter their name into a pre-chat survey and click submit. And then they'll wait to get connected to the agent. Now we'll switch over to the agent view to see what that looks like from the agent's perspective. The agent's going to receive a notification that they have a chat waiting for them, which you can see there. They're going to click that to accept the chat, and then they can review the customer's context information along with sending them a canned message to greet them. On the customer side, they can see that canned message and let them know that they need help with an auto loan. We'll switch back to the agent view where we can see that they're going to associate this chat to that contact Cat Francis and look through their browser history. The agent says that they're happy to help with that and we'll switch back to the agent view and the agent's going to start a co-browse session with the customer to show them exactly where the auto loans page is. On the agent side that opens a new window so that they can see the customer's whole browser and on the customer side they see a, a request to accept the co-browse session. Their screen will be framed with orange to show what they're sharing and that they're in a co-browse session. Now the agent's going to inform the customer that they'll help navigate them to the correct page. Which they do. And then the customer view of that same experience here. They will be navigated to the auto loans page where they can see um, the auto loan information if they scroll down. Um, can change the sliders to view different information and can click apply now to actually start applying for that loan. The agent can use their co-browse annotation tools to highlight the areas that the customer needs to look at and to help walk them through the experience. They can then click apply now to start the loan application process. And the agent is going to propose that they start a video session in order to walk through that form together. So he asks permission to escalate to a call and the customer confirms that they would like to do that. The customer needs to accept, again, because we're changing the way that we engage. And a new iframe will open up, showing them the video with the agent um, in the big screen and themselves in the small circular window. They have the ability to mute uh, their camera and their voice here to expand to full screen and to exit the session. Here are the agents helping to fill in the form and highlights for the customer to fill in the address field, because they don't have that in the contact record, to fill that in on their behalf. They ask them also to fill in the fields for Social Security and birth date. Um, those fields will be redacted on the agent side, so the agent is not able to see them as the customer enters information there. And finally, they'll indicate to fill in the employer and income fields so that they can complete the process. Using CoBrowse along with voice or video makes the customer much more efficient at getting through sales processes, and it helps them better self-serve in the future. Now we'll switch over to the agent view to see that whole process from the agent's perspective. On the agent side, the video widget is on the top of the chat widget on the right hand side of the Dynamics web client. Because we're in a co-browse session, the agent's actually also going to be able to see the customer's view of the chat and video um, as well. In this case, on the agent side, you can see that they're helping to fill in that auto loan application, and they're using the beacon to call the customer's attention to the address field, and they can't see the social security number or birth date fields. When the customer minimizes the chat screen so that they can better see the form, the agent sees that as well. The agent is able to continue using the CoBrowse annotation tools to help guide the customer through the form fill process and ensure that they complete the sale. When the customer is finished filling in the form, the agent can end the co-browse session and the video chat and finish dispositioning the chat using the chat activity form. Here you can see all of the details are included in that chat activity, including the customer contact information, the page start URL, and the chat transcript itself.